Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is a Bosch Aqua Stop mechanism from a Bosch washing machine, a WAE 2844A. Quite a simple piece of kit this, really not very much to it, but we'll run through some of the features of it right now. So this plastic tray here sits at the bottom of the machine, and if there was ever a leak in the machine, the water would dribble down into this tray. And you've got about six or seven, maybe eight mil of depth there between the very lowest point in the tray and the highest point in the tray. And so at this point here, you would have this thing and this is a float switch. And so if I hold it like that, you can hear that little click. So this is a piece of expanded polystyrene. And the expanded polystyrene you can see there, just in the center, pushes up and actuates that little tiny blue switch. And it's just a micro switch. So this clips in here, so if water comes in, it hits the switch, and what does it do? Does it make or break a circuit? Let's find out. So the switch is normally closed, and if the water flows in, you can see over here on the multimeter, it breaks the circuit. And let's te test that and see what level of water it needs inside to do that. So that's it in place. So we've got resistance on the multimeter there so that the circuit is closed. Let's get some water here and just pour it in. That's it, so about half a pint of water, about 250 milliliters. It hasn't come up the whole way. You've only come up about three or four millimeters of water there and that's it, your circuit's broken. So that was one half of the system and this is the hose and this is the other half of the system. So on the one hand you've got a leak and you've got this tray in the bottom and it stops something. It breaks the circuit somewhere so it could turn off the machine maybe, turn off the power straight away through the, uh, through the main PCB module, the main controller, the brains of the washing machine. It could turn off power somewhere there. The next step is this washing machine inlet hose. So this is the wa washing machine water that comes from the faucet or the tap or the outlet on the wall down into the washing machine through this end here. Now I've opened up both of these covers and let's take them off. On this side here you've got a completely potted uh, solenoid switch. The same as you'd have inside in the washing machine but this one's completely completely sealed up. And the idea here is that, to a certain degree anyways, if there was a leak anywhere along the hose, if the hose got, got a leak inside, now, bizarrely I don't really know how that would happen, the water would flow down, I've broken it here so you can see it, but you've got a cable there and you've got a hose. The water would flow down through the hose into this box here, which is mounted on the back of the machine. The water would come out here and then dribble down into that tray that we saw earlier on. So what have we got here? We've got the normal connector to the washing machine. We've got a two core cable, which goes to that solenoid valve on the other end. And we've got this little um, piece of ferrite here, which is to stop uh, radi radio interference, I, I presume. So I've got a little safety block here. Can you hear that? It's making noises. It makes a quite a vibration as well. So when it's energized, if I recall, I'm gonna to have to go off camera here. Oh. Yep. If it's energized, there was water in that hose. Let's try that again. See if we can catch it in the glass if everything goes well. So I'm gonna blow down this pipe. It is energized. Not so great, but you could see that anyway. So when the electricity's on here, the valve is open. And if I cut the electricity, the valve's shut. You can't blow in there at all. So in the simplest possible terms, this switch here. So in the simplest possible terms, you've got your faucet on the wall. You've got your solenoid switch and you've got your water coming into the machine. Then the bottom of the machine, you've got your Aquastop tray with your Aquastop float switch. You with me so far? And you've got your cables coming out of there. So that's your micro switch there. If the water comes in and rises this up, it breaks this connection here. 
which stops power flowing to this solenoid valve over here and means that more water can't come in. So it's kind of clever, kind of simple, you know? Water comes in, turns off the uh, turns off the water at the switch. Really doesn't go much further than that. And that's it, that's your Bosch Aquastop mechanism. Yeah, I figured it out. Thanks for watching, see you next time.